am I really doing this? Is this really what I'm doing with my time today? <laughs> I just have this idea on a whim. So I am very ill. I have some sort of sinus infection. I've been out of work the past couple of days. Um, so I got myself McDonald's. I was busy watching the Fear Street trilogy, which I have many thoughts about. But while perusing my letterbox to go and rate said Fear Street trilogy, I had an epiphany that because on this channel I love to do videos on phenomenons most usually closely related to the It and Stranger Things fandoms, I thought it is my responsibility, it is my duty to make a video on the phenomenon that is Jaden Martell's <laughs> letterboxed. So for those of you who don't know, Letterboxd is kind of like a Rotten Tomatoes-esque site. You can, It's sort of, but it's for like pretentious movie people, I guess. You can go and review movies and write reviews of movies and whatever. I use it quite often. I log every movie that I watch. You can follow me on Letterboxd if you want to see what I'm watching. Um, But our lovely, lovely boy, Jaden Martell, Bill Denbro himself, has a Letterboxd account. And frankly, his, some of his taste in movies is quite appalling. So I thought today we would explore his Letterboxd account and, uh, in all good fun, judge this boy's opinions on movies. All right, so off the bat, we have a red flag. Um, on, on Letterboxd, on your profile, you can choose your four favorite films. So for my, for, so for example, my four favorite films, I have it as The Shining Perks of Being a Wallflower, It, and The Queen's Gambit. They have some, like, mini-series on here. It's not, for the most part, they don't have TV, but if it's, like, a contained mini-series, they'll have it on Letterboxd sometimes, so I put Queen's Gambit up here because I was indecisive on choosing a fourth movie. Jaden Martell has The Dark Knight in his top four, and that is off the bat a red flag. <laughs> Jaden, if you come across this video, this is all with love. The reason why I was struck with the epiphany to do this today is because of this, this Fear Street 1978 review where he gave it half a star out of five. Um, same. This one I saw the other day. This was very funny to me. He said it up for Fear Street 1994. He said, predictable. Is that mean? Sometimes I feel like I shouldn't be so mean on here. Guys, don't tell anyone what I say. <laughs> Sorry, Jaden. I am here to alert the people that you have bad taste in movies. He gave Falcon and the Winter Soldier four stars, which is absolute white dude bro energy, and I just felt the need to point that out. Okay, he gave Lee Blonde five out of five stars. Um, I think we're gonna have to give him a pass. See, Jaden Martell giving a Space Odyssey four stars is exactly why I needed to make this video. Jaden Martell, just on Letterboxd, gives me the energy of those, like, film kids who are, like, who, like, when they're asked what their favorite movie is on their first day of class, they're like, um, I, I guess it's, like, Pulp Fiction. I don't know if you guys have seen Pulp Fiction, but it's probably, like, the best movie ever made. I don't know. It's a bit, like, it's a bit, like, under the radar. I don't know if you've seen it. Like, that's the energy that this gives me. This is my 13th reason. This is why we are called here today, because I will not, and any, from anyone ever in my lifetime, accept slander for the writing of The Perks of Being a Wildflower. I'm sorry that your coming-of-age movie, which is one of the best coming-of-age movies of all time, is not the best coming-of-age movie of all time, aka The Perks of Being a Wildflower. Sit your ass down. You're Bill Den, bro. Shut the fuck up. Jane definitely seems like the kind of person who would like One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest, um, <laughs> which is, uh, I, I like- like, not an insult, I suppose, um, because I think this movie is quite good, but this still seems high. Nearly a five-star rating. I, I'm, I don't have the time or energy to read this whole review. Who hurt you? Who, giving, giving the haunting of Bly Manor anything less than, like, three and a half stars is homophobic. Not four stars for Tenet. Jaden. Jaden, four stars for Tenet and half a star for Blimey, sweetie. See, I would accept three and a half stars for Doctor Sleep, but considering I just saw that he gave four to Tenet, that's not gonna fly. Jaden choosing Maniac as his favorite show of all time is very on brand. I don't know how else to, like, elaborate on that. I just, that makes sense. <laughs> Not him giving the same score to The Irishman and Marriage Story and then giving Uncut Gems a high- The fact that the first film that he has rated on here is Joker, and he gave it four stars. 
Do you see why I needed to call us here today? Do you see why I needed to make this public service announcement that this boy is committing hate crimes on the interwebs? He gave the Invisible Man two stars. That's an absolutely not. Are you kidding? That was such a good movie. Jaden, I need to know why you hate women. <laughs> I need to know why, why, why you hate women. I need to know why you hate women. Okay, and he gave Louis for Alaska for- Babe! <laughs> What is wrong with you? I would like to note that he gave his own movie, Knives Out, four stars, and his other own movie, in Chapter 2, 3, <laughs> Jaden Martell, actor for Bill Denbro and It Chapter 2, gave It Chapter 2, three stars. <laughs> Listen, at least he's honest. This was a personal attack, giving the act two stars and us three. Why do you hate women? <laughs> oh my god, and giving Green Book four stars and mid-90s four and a half is like the whitest thing I've ever seen. Why do you hate fun? Why do you hate fun? I There's so much wrong with what I'm looking at right now, like I don't even know where to begin. Dude! <laughs> You're in this movie. You're the star of the, You're the main character in this movie. If anybody gave the live-action Death Note the same score as I, Tanya, this doesn't sit right with me. I was just about to point out that he gave Call Me By Your Name four stars, but then I saw that he gave Get Out three and a half. I'm getting mixed signals. We have to stop before I commit arson. All right, thank you for taking this deep dive with me today into Jaden Martell's Letterbox account. I hope that you were as horrified as I am. Um, <laughs> if you don't follow me on Letterbox, you should. Um, you can also follow me at all the other places at the links in my description, all my social media and my website, my merch, and all that fun stuff. Links in the description for my social justice spotlight as well. All sorts of ways you can help with Black Lives Matter, Stop Asian Hate, all that important stuff. Uh, this has been a really great dinner. Thanks for coming over. <laughs>